Hey guys, today we're going to test out the new remove wires and cables feature in Photoshop 2025. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. This is Creative Society. In Photoshop, I'm going to open four photos that contain wires and cables. To access this new feature, select the Remove tool, then click on Find Distractions. And here we can select wires and cables. Keep in mind that this is one-click removal, so we don't have much control over the results. We only have three modes available, with Generative AI, Without It, or Auto. I'm going to select Auto and then click Wires and Cables. We'll wait till the processing is done, and then let's see the results. It's doing a pretty good job, but it's still going to require manual adjustments. Let's move on to the next photo. And I personally recommend creating a copy of the original image before applying the effect. Again, select the Remove tool, Find Distractions, then Wires and Cables. Okay, it actually did a pretty great job. Around the building looks very good. It requires a few tweaks here and there, but overall looks great. For the next photo, let's create two copies and let's test out the three modes to analyze the differences. Let's rename the layers as well. And first I'm gonna run the auto mode, which basically allows Photoshop to choose between generative AI or content aware fill. All right, some of the lines are still visible. I'm not really sure why that is, but let's proceed to the next one with generative AI on. I don't see much of a difference between auto and on, just a few small areas, but maybe we can detect something between on and off. All right, so I don't see much of a difference between these modes. Maybe it's the photo or I don't know, but I'll probably leave the settings to auto all the time. And last but not least, let's try this with something more complex. As you can see, this photo has lots of wires, lots of cables. So let's see how this feature performs. So, pretty great, but we noticed that it left most of the shadows in the photo, so it's good to keep that in mind for future projects. So that was it guys, with a few manual tweaks, I think it's a pretty helpful tool. What do you think of this? Would you use it or not? Leave a comment below with your answers and don't forget to subscribe and like this video for more Photoshop 2025 tutorials. Have a wonderful day.